I tell you, I tell you, the lighting thing. It's always something to do with the lighting. That's pretty good, though. I think that's quite bright. Let me see. Should I make it brighter? Ba, 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 ba. Oh, daylight. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. There. There. So much better. All right. So what do we need? Chickens. Chicken. Ooh. There. I am live of What is my, with my hair? It looks so good. Five minutes ago. Just to fix my hair. And now it's like that. Well, why I wear bonnets. There you are. Yes. So this is awesome. This chicken. I'm going to have so much of this chicken in the house after this, but it's totally worth it. So, um, what we are doing, it's freaking awesome. You're going to love this. Is this is a, uh, it's chicken, chicken. It's chicken legs. Although, although I have some, I have some thighs as well. I have chicken legs and I have some thighs because you can put it in anything. But it's my dad's recipe and he did it with chicken uh, legs. What happened is, that's just like a church, church chicken legs, church party chicken legs. <laughs> so my mom, when she got older, she went back to church. I'm going to get back to church. So she went back to church. She's Episcopalian. So mom was going to the Episcopalian church. Very cool. Very cool place. And my dad was like, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. He raised a Lutheran. Didn't care. But they had these great parties. These great parties and picnics and they'd go to concerts and stuff. And he liked that part. So my mom would go to these church parties. And they want people to bring stuff, you know, it's like potluck things. And she'd be like, salad, put me down for salad. <laughs> she'd like make salad. She couldn't, couldn't cook. She couldn't cook. So she's like, I can, I'll make a salad. I can do salad. I can do salad. I could, I could bring a cake. So she's like buying stuff in the store. Set. One day she, she gets put down for chicken. She's like, why am I down for chicken? I told them, I could, do not put me down for, for chicken. And she came, I was like, ah, they did, my name got on the list for chicken. They're, they're, somebody took salad already. And my dad's like, I got this. And she's like, what would you like? No problem. So my father goes into the kitchen and whips up these chicken legs with tarragon and red wine. Too meant to be served cold. You can serve them hot, but meant to be served cold, chilled. They're so good. I mean, people went nuts. She had to check to like bring them all the time. So then it was like, there's another picnic. Can you make, can you make the legs? Can you make the chicken legs? And luckily he could. Um, but it was hilarious. So these became the Thor Arngram church party chicken legs like that. Who called? More spam. Spam, spam, spam. That's who called. So, what do we have? Check. Now, I do them skinless. Those skinless, they're not boneless. They're not boneless. They're actually, they're drumsticks and thighs. And they are, but I took the skin off them. They are skinless. Um, I guess you could do them with the skin on. I like them skinless. Gets all the, the marinade gets in. So, this marinade, what am I on about? I'm even warming up the oven as I speak. Tarragon, shallots, things. So, one of the first things we want, of course, is tarragon. Duh. It is the main ingredient. <laughs> Hello, Watergate South. Tarragon. Um, you can use the tarragon that comes in the little jar at the store. That's perfectly. It's going to be fun adjusting this because I totally redid my thing. Yes, you can use tarragon that comes in the shaky, shaky thing from the store. But fresh tarragon is awesome. Where do you get fresh tarragon? I found that sometimes it's hard to find fresh tarragon. They got dill, they got everything. You know where you go? You go to the, like, Armenian store. You go to the Armenian store, the Persian store. In L.A., that's really easy. In Tahunga, it's super easy. Are you in Glendale? Really easy. You go, good old, they, they know, they know about the tarragon and that it is good. Ugh. Yes, so you get some tarragon, tarragon. I have to have some that I already, like, rinsed and have been chopping at already. So you get your, get your tarragon. There's like pounds more than I need. And you want a very sharp knife. Um, you want to cut it up really small. You want to cut it up. I mean, you could, in theory, put whole sprigs in here and it would just get in the flavor. But I like little bits of tarragon all over my chicken. So you want to chop this up. Eat super duper 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 tiny. Here, you want to watch. It's too scary. I don't know. Do you want to watch? Because it looks like I'm going to cut my fingers off. I have never cut a finger off. The worst I've ever done is like broken a nail. See? You keep your fingers away. You do knuckles even. But I do think you just make sure that you go very slowly. Keep those fingers away from the knife. Now, that's already like a ton of tarragon here. We're not making 10,000 pounds of this, but the heck, because I like it, I'm going to make a lot. Now, shove this back in the bag. Back in the bag. I will find a use for that. Now, I'm going to make sure this is super small. I really like here. I want it small. You can even if you have the right kind of. That works with this knife. Can't do that with all knives, but you can do it with this knife. 
top of that. Just crush it down. That is a lot of tarragon. And traditionally, I have a lot of legs here. A table, a heaping, heaping tablespoon is sufficient. Why not? Let's get a little crazy. We'll do too. My father and I love the tarragon. Now, what about all this other lovely stuff? We so need the paper towels. It's like such a mess. Paper towels, paper towels. Woo! Um, then, then what happens? Well, let's see. Then you need garlic. Now, you got to have your garlic. I got fresh, 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 fresh garlic here. And I also already have some ready to go crushed. But I just thought I'd do this to show it to you because it's awesome. It's awesome. Um, I have things. Let's scrape all this off. So, you take your head of garlic. You get your head of garlic. Now, what do you do when you get a head of garlic? Well, you got. Uh, you bust off a clove. Clove. That's quite a bit. But we'll, we'll bust off two for fun, will we? Will we? This is a very fresh head of garlic and it's not cooperating. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on, you. Get off of there. Arr, arr. Okay, great. There. That's plenty. So what am I doing? What am I doing with these two cloves of garlic? How? How? You may well ask. You get, I just, I'm showing off. I already have garlic crushed. I don't need to do this. But for you, garlic. Very hard to get the skin off, right? Get one of these. This is a little rubber tube. Little step. Rubber tube. There's a thousand brands. Get this rubber tube. And you put, they sell them in the cooking store and online. It's like nothing. It's cheap. Cheap, cheap. Just like two dollars. Get this rubber, put the garlic in it and go. Rubber, roll, roll, roll. I said, like, what am I doing? Roll the clove of garlic in the magic rubber too. Keep going. What is that? Instant naked garlic. No smashing, no cutting. You now have a whole clove. Oh, perfectly good. Now, I mean, it's silly. I don't even really need to. What if there's two and they're stuck together? I could do this all day. This is like I do this for fun. Oh, la, 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 la. Oh. Look at that. How is that? How is that even possible? That's it. There's there, that. There, there. Totally done. Okay. Why? Why? Because I want to crush them. Now, I have crushed already, but old-fashioned garlic press, old-fashioned garlic press. Yes, they make all these machines now to crush your garlic. You drop one in, you do this. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, fresh crush. Careful. Oop, there you go. Do I need more? Yes, I do. This is big. Okay, I'm going to cut this in half because it's like huge. Cut it in There. Fresh garlic. Yeah. Try a lot. Oh, look. Should I put the whole thing in? Of course I should. It's garlic. Why not? This is more garlic than you probably need. I don't care. I'm going to put it in because we love garlic. We just love garlic. So there you go. What happens then? Do we need pepper? Of course we do. You know me. I like the 21 seasoning salute. It's a little hot. Be careful. We're going to go easy because you can eat. go too much. Don't go too much. Personally, I like a little poultry seasoning. Let's smell this. Yes. Because it's chicken. Just dashy dashy. What is the next key ingredient? This is cray cray. More choppy choppy things. More choppy choppies. Such a mess. Such a mess. It's terrible. Terrible making such a mess. Doo doo doo. It's scrapey scrapey. Clean clean. There. Doo 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 doo. Now what? Shallots. What is a shallot? Do you do shallots? Do you ever had shallots? They're the best. You've had shallots. You French people. Le Français. Le Français. Oui. Les les gens de France ici. The mes amis de France, we oui, exactly the shallot, shallot, uh, shallot, yeah. Shallots are great. So, this is a shallot. What is a shallot? Um, it's an onion with a publicist. It's an, a fancy, a fancy onion. This is all it is. Look at, but it's a purple. Look, it's beautiful. How pretty! It's pretty. I'm not putting that in the magic rolly thing. Because this peels quite easily. Actually, once you yeah, once you pop an end off of this thing, it just yeah, it just like just comes off. It slides off. Look at that, look at that, the gone dead. There. So look, it's purple. It's pretty, it's pretty. This is a shallot, and this is a king green here. And you what you do, and it cuts up real easy. Like I said, it's it's an onion, and it's woo! It's got yeah, 
it's got some kick to it, but it's very pretty. I'm going to cut it up very carefully. Careful, careful. Do not cut your hand off. Don't cut your fingers off. Be careful. There we go. Tra -la -la. I'm going to cut it up small. Little tiny pieces. Little tiny pieces. Tiny, 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 tiny pieces. That's what I like myself. I was like, oh my God, smell this. Urgh. Ooh, woo, yeah. I throw that in there. That's beautiful. It's big chunks. Do we care? We do not. Okay. Okay. Now what happens? Now this is where there's actually some measuring, a little teeny tiny bit of measuring, which involves the wine and the olive oil. So I like the olive oil. It says any oil. You could use any oil, of course. Oh, well, I the oil. So it's a quarter cup. Blip, 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 blip. Blip, 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 blip. Quarter cup olive oil. Okay, maybe a little more. Cheating. Then what? This is the key ingredient. This is why my dad loved making this. Why? Yes, oh, the French. We have the Chalavant. Yes, you want the wine. The French are going crazy. There's shallots. There's wine. This is great. There's wine in it. Um, if you... You want to, they, you know, they make alcohol free red wine. Also, this is just going to soak in it and then it's going to bake. So, I'm not really sure how much alcohol would still even be there. It's going to sit in it, then it's going to go away and it's going to go in the oven. So, there may not be alcohol in it when it's done, but you can get stuff with no alcohol in it that has the chemicals that is red wine. But in this case, we're using regular woo, red wine. Now, don't use the most expensive, fancy red wine in the house. You don't need it for this, it's just going to soak chicken in it. So, go with something that I have here. Some of you recognize this label. This is Two Buck Chuck from Trader Joe's, as we call it here. It's Three Buck Chuck now. Um, Charles Schwab. But everybody makes fun of Two Buck Chuck, which is now Three Buck Chuck. It's actually good. It's one, it's one metals. They're, they're um, Shiraz, one like a silver metal. It's great. It's a great one. So, this is what gets on now. At least. Woohoo! Half a cup. Yeah. Brr. Oh, what the hell. So a little more. So yeah, you need, well, we need enough to cover the chicken. Now this can get a little intense. This flavoring here can be a little intense. Where's my spoon? I have my spoon right here for this. And my sinuses are clearing, just breathing this stuff. What is happening? Yes. Holy mother. Oh, we're not done now. There is also soy sauce. Now, my father was a fan of soy sauce. He put soy sauce in everything. And the recipe says a little salt. But we're going to put soy sauce instead. It gives it a lovely flavor, makes it dark. We're going to go with about three tablespoons. Ooh. Yeah, just enough. So it's not too much. But enough to darken it up. It kind of makes it cling to the chicken. So it gets in already. I'm like, yeah, wait. Should I try it? That's really good. I'm going to be psycho and put dash more pepper because I'm evil. Now, what does it need? Because the tarragon, whew, the tarragon is quite strong and the wine is quite tart. A little bit of honey. You don't have to. Some people like it straight up. I find that a little bit of honey sort of balances the wine and the tarragon so it's not too bitter, not too sharp. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Mmm. 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 Can you see that? Yeah. It's right there. It's just wine and... It's like a really intense salad dressing. Wait, we're going to taste it. Should we taste it? I mean, it's, gonna, it's not something you don't want to drink. Although I might. That's really good. It shouldn't even taste that good. Now what happens? Ta-da! This, of course, is a bag of chicken. This is a tiny little leg. This is a slightly bigger leg. Um, I got a couple of thighs in here. What you want are some plain old chicken drumsticks. Thighs, you can really do any part of the chicken. But the chicken drumsticks are the classic. My dad would get big old, big! He wouldn't get like the little wing kind. He would get... He would get, this is like small, you could do wings, you could do like hot wings, but 
he would get regular big old chicken drumsticks. Ziploc. And I got about, I got about four legs, and I think I threw in like two thighs here. This is where we have to be careful, because yes, seriously, that's what I'm doing. I am literally dumping it into a plastic bag of chicken. Remember the shake and bake commercials? Shake and bake, and I help, and I help. It's that. Now, this is where you have to be careful. Squeeze. Make sure. Squeeze. Squeeze. Close that bag. Squeeze, squeezing air out. Squeezing air out. Clean it. Now, you want to be careful because now you got to put it in the fridge. What are you going to put in the fridge? What if it falls over and leaks? Which is why I take the bowl. What are we doing? I take this here bowl. And I put it in the bowl. Now see, if it leaks or it tips over or anything, you do not have chicken blood and wine and olive oil all over your refrigerator. It's, it's just safe. It's safe now. Oh, we're going to put this in the fridge. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Tra, la, la. Now, you may well say, well, well wait, how long's that got to be in there? Like all day. Um, I would recommend generally all night. Like, I marry stuff all night. You can, it's like six hours. If you needed it tonight, you could eat that tonight because it's, it's just now noon. So you could pull that out like 5 30, 6 o'clock and broil them up and they'd be fine. But I do them like late the night before a party. So, however, this is what they would they look like. Ta -da. Oh, look, look, I just happen to have some here. This is what they look like after they've soaked in the refrigerator all night long in wine and spices. Yes. So, do I have tongs? I had them. Look at this. Place is a train wreck. Yes, we do. Aren't these pretty? These were the gift. These are the gift thing. So, what I'm doing is I have a big boiler pan with foil. Tin foil. I am in love with aluminum foil. I covered the big pan. You can use a baking pan. A baking pan is good. I would say a cookie sheet. But sometimes you want a base, you want a little of the juice, so it can get a little messy. So something with some kind of side, so you don't make a huge mess. Lots of, and this is fantastic, so you don't like, you know, the cleaning of the pan. <laughs> I don't do it, so I use foil. So then what happens? Yes. Now I am heating this oven all the way up. You want the oven hot, like 400, like 450. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can boil it. Or just put it in the oven, like bake it, roast it. That's the easiest, because then you put it in, you set a timer, you'll walk away. But my dad would broil them, like five minutes, just five minutes each side, just five minutes each side, and then like in the oven for a few minutes. That's a fast way. So as you will see here, look at these little guys. Oh, I, did I throw in a thigh? I did. What fun. We have a couple thighs in here. Do you see? Look here. The chicken is now... Ooh, quite dark. It has now been, clearly been soaking in Trader Joe's cheap red wine all night. I know a lot of people have been soaking in Trader Joe's cheap red wine all night. Uh, oh, buy meat, buy meat, we'll buy meat there. Yeah, yeah. Wow, how many of these did I do? I feel like they got bigger overnight. I think they did. I think they swelled up overnight with all of this olive oil and deliciousness and chicken stuff here. Burp, 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 burp. Make room, make room. Wait, there's one more, you guys. We gotta make room. Oh, it's a thigh. Is this a thigh? I did. I made a thigh. Great. Notice, notice the bowl that it is in to prevent spillage disasters that we would often have here. Now, what do we got here? Oh, look! Oh, look! Oh, look! It's pretty. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna stick in the broiler. I'm gonna stick in the broiler for five, just for kicks. We gotta go. Turn the thing all the way up. Burn the bloody house down here. And a little bit of a work up here, excuse me. All right, get in there, you little fucker. Okay. Nice. And see, now you have this giant mess, and what do you do? <laughs> Take the whole thing. You can pour this out in the sink, or you can just throw the whole thing away. Throw the whole thing away. It's like, here, do that. Oh, you mess here. This is, that's good. This is mess. This is mess. This is mess. Oh, look. This is okay. Just keep that, keep that. That's fine. <laughs> and yes, this is a giant mess. Keep the cork. And we just take all the mess into the bowl. 
and go. Ta da! Into the trash can. La 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 la. Go away. Go away. Yes. Ta da! Easy cleanup. So that's why it's cool. It's an easy cleanup. Method. It doesn't require a big cleanup. If you put your Ziploc in a bowl so it doesn't get all over the place and you're very careful pouring your magical marinade into that bag, it's a relatively easy cleanup. Oh, that made me such a mess. All right. What's that been in there? It's already been in there a minute. So we're going to broil that a little bit. Now, are we seriously going to stand here all day while this cooks? No! Mm. Can it be reused? No. The only way you can reuse the marinade is if you take out a batch of chicken. Did it come back? Am I live again? That was so weird. It just was like, you do not have an internet connection. I was like, yes, yes, I do. Yes, I completely do. It just, it freaked out momentarily. But we have, we have internet. So do we have chicken yet? Do we have chicken yet? Let me, let me take a look. That was great because it like went dark. So I was able to like, you know, do the chicken. Da, da, da. What do we have? Nah, no, that's not ready. It's coming along nicely though. So, yeah, I'm just going to bro. They're going to need to be in there. Well, whatever shall we do? Whatever shall we do? The internet came back. <laughs> I was like, oh, it just went, blip, you have no internet. The internet has returned, which is awesome. And the chicken is broiling, which is even more awesome. And it will become, like, super duper chicken in a few minutes. But, you know, it's got to broil on one side and then I have to turn it and then it has to broil on the other side and then I have to like put it in the oven for a minute. So where will we get some cold chicken? Don't we need already broiled, already cold chicken legs? Yes, yes we do. So conveniently enough, just like the real cooking shows on Taipei, oh look what popped up here. Yes, oh my God, Marie, I was in the middle of answering Marie's question about reusing the marinade. No, you don't want to reuse the marinade. Um, I was able to get a little use out of that. I made some marinade, marinated some chicken, cooked it, and when I took it out of the bag, I immediately put several more pieces of raw chicken in the bag, so with a little more marinade. So it was the same thing. Yeah, that's about it. You can't reuse it again or keep it because what you've got is old chicken. You have chicken blood and chicken schmutz. And nowadays, everybody's like, ooh, salmonella, raw meat, you got to be careful. So you can't just then take the used marinade and put it in the fridge because then it's got, it's got chicken poop in it. So what you want to do is check it. Make a, you can make a big batch of the marinade and put it in a thing and stick it in the fridge for days, and it'll be fine. These, however, I made previously and roasted these up last night. So these are done, and they are chilled as my father would have made them. And see, there they look. And you can see these little bits of tarragon. You can see that they clearly were cooked in red wine and spices. And there's little bits of tarragon on them. Sound is good. Blech. If you do have like chicken, it's true. But are these good? Let's find out. Ah, there you go. I know the whole thing went away. I know that was scary. My internet went away. It was really weird. But it's back. It's back. Hold on. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, my. It's cooked all the way. It's so, it's super juicy and tender because, well, it's been marinated. It's marinated, so it's impossible. Mmm, but it's dry. It's freaking delicious. Um, I eat this all day. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. Mmm. You can't. You can totally eat them hot with like a side of rice or mashed potatoes or something. But they are also really awesome. They're really good cold. They're really good. And you can make them super spicy, like lots of garlic and lots of pepper, or just a little. I understand this recipe also totally works with rosemary. Rosemary chicken legs with garlic, yes. They work with, works with rosemary and other spices. But my dad did it with a tarragon. Mm. Oh, and that's what I'm doing. And there's a recipe with red wine. This is the red wine one. There's a recipe with white wine. White wine, rosemary. And some people do it because But my dad did it with red wine and tarragon. And it rocked. Now, the ones that are broiling away. Let's just go check on those real quick. Let's see. How they look. Yeah. See, now, as you see, they're starting to do that. 
So you want to baste them. Um, um, did I keep? I didn't keep any marinade. You just you know pour a little more marinade on them if you think they need it. But basically, look at that. They've got tarragon all over them. They look freaking great. They're awesome. I'm gonna stick it back in the broiler and just all that food. Um, yes. So there you are. You can make any part of the chicken in it. <laughs> Yes, you can probably put turkey in there. You can use white wine. You can you can vary the recipe. You can go crazy. My dad did. He just totally changed it up. But tarragon or red wine and olive oil are the key ingredients. So it says, and they come out juicy and delicious. And everyone at the church picnic went, oh, mm. and they were like, oh, Mrs. Ongram, Mrs. Ongram, your chicken, really, really, really good. So there you are. I think it's going to try to disconnect on me, so I'm going to bail now before my computer blows up. All right, see you guys soon. I'll be reading.